Hi, I'm Christy Putnam, and I'm here to introduce the major and the minor. Back in 1942, Ginger Rogers was looking for someone to direct her latest film, so she decided to have dinner with screenwriter Billy Wilder at an Italian restaurant in Hollywood. After she met him, she knew he was the man, so he began to get ready to direct the major and the minor, but Billy needed a male lead. After he left the studio one Friday night, he pulled up to a stop sign, and right next to him was Ray Milan. He looked at Ray and he said, I'm doing a picture. You want to be in it? And Ray said, sure. So, without any further delay, he began getting ready to direct The Major and the Minor, a film about Susan Kathleen Applegate, a young woman who was absolutely fed up with New York City and decided to go home to Stevenson, Iowa. Unfortunately, there was one small problem. She didn't have enough train fare to get back home. She only had enough money for half fare. So she had to duck into the ladies' room and transform herself into 12-year-old Susu Applegate. They had so much fun on that film that every time there was a fabulous take, Billy Wilder would say, Champagne for everybody. I kind of like that, don't you? Without further ado, here's the major and the minor in 1942 with Ginger Rogers and Ray Malone. Directed by Billy Wilder.